It's wonderful, the valerian, how it's all fluffy, even after its flowers. These are the seed heads. You can see these are the seed heads, but those are the flowers. But they're still magnificent in their display. And this is the verbascum, which is uh, of the same family as, um, oh, I'm being stupid. I can't remember. It's been a long day. Anyway, these are looking gorgeous. I love how they're filling out that section there. This is the parking area. So there's no soil there. It's literally gravel. All in there is just gravel and maybe windfall leaves and things like that. Whereas this beautiful purple, um, I love this tree. The color is so gorgeous and the leaves look like hearts. So it's looking lovely and all these poppies, all these pink, pink poppies and oxide daisies. This is all in the gravel. Yarrow in the gravel, the evening primrose and is in the yarrow, is in the gravel. Oxide daisies. That's the sweet pea over there. That's the perennial one. It comes back every year and it has no smell. And the passion flower is definitely coming up. Here's an artichoke. And that's again in the gravel. This is a fennel in the gravel. There you can see the passion flower is in bloom. So all these evening primroses and oxide daisies all in the gravel. And believe it or not, I'm here for that metal yoke. It's growing out of the ground. I have to water it, believe it or not. Chickens are curious as to what I'm doing. I'm watering my electric fence ground wire. Problem is that when it's as dry as it is at the moment, oh well, look, they're all drinking. They have water, by the way. They have an automatic water feeder water thing. So I don't know why they're drinking the water. But this rod sticking out of the ground is how my electric fence is grounded. And it's so dry that it's not grounding. So the problem is it's so dry that the water is running off and down onto the side. So I have to water uphill from it. Hopefully it'll run down and soak. Yeah, you're all very chatty. These are all pullets, which means they haven't started laying eggs yet. So keep watering a little bit and letting it soak in. Oh, it's beginning to soak in a bit better. That's good. So I might be a gardener and water plants and flowers, but I also have to water my electrical unit. Look, it's beginning to soak in. That's great. It's not a bit of it's running out. More of it is soaking in though. That's good. I don't know why you like this water. It's no different from the water you have in the water feeder, which is working because I checked it a few minutes ago. I guess this is just special electrical unit water. Well, that job's done. A full one of these to make sure that still works, the grounding connection. See you later. This wind might be uh, the beginning of some rain, which would be lovely. Otherwise, it's watering for trees tomorrow. So I just closed the gate, finished watering my electrical unit. And I should have said that all of these flowers, 
all along here. The oxide daisies, evening primrose, the fennel, the passion flower, the mallow, the artichoke, the yarrow here, the verbascums, the poppies, the valerian, all of these, none of this in this drought has had water. None of that. I haven't given it any water anywhere, though I have watered things in the garden. And all of that is very drought tolerant plantings. They also love it when it rains. They're fine with that. But it's ironic that I walk past all of these plants and have to water the uh, grounding rod for my electric fences. <laughs> it's funny how things work out.